Good evening from Anaheim, California. It's the kickoff of the 2024 Monster Jam season. I'm Scott Jordan, alongside my broadcast partner, Adam Edtick-Knapp. Adam, tonight's going to be an event like no other. It's the Superstar Challenge, and there's no better way to kick it off than with an action-packed, never-before-seen stunt from the legend Tom Mintz. Scott, we are getting ready to see the first forward momentum backflip over two Monster Jam trucks. I can't wait. I'm excited. Tom Mintz about to hit the track and perform the Spin Master Thunder Roarus drop. Two Monster Jam trucks set. We got a ramp in front of us. The inflatable dinosaur is good to go. Tom Mintz revving up here. The crowd in Angel Stadium on the edge of their seats to see this never before seen stunt. And no better man to do it than the 14 time World Finals champion. Here comes Tom Mintz. Full throttle to the ramp. He's going to hit it. There's your back. Oh, a little too and much he is rotation. End up on top of the Monster Jam stunt truck. Let's take a look at the super glue replay. So he's coming up to the ramp right here, and you can see the right front ramp on the right front tire actually gives out a little bit more than the left front tire and throws Tom into a corkscrew. It was still a great way to start the night off. This is Monster Jam. And here we go. Final quarter for Earthshaker, and he is your racing champion. He's got two in a row, back to back flip. Oh, can he get the save? Oh, yeah. He's going high. That is a Ledoux leap off the container. With the combination move. Oh, my goodness. Huge hair, and he's gonna make the save. It is a fantastic night here in Anaheim. And just moments ago, Tom Mitz provided a glimpse of what we all have in store this evening as 16 of the biggest superstar drivers in the sport will compete here tonight at the Monster Jam Superstar Challenge. Our drivers have been divided into two teams, Team Nitro captained by Barton Massauer and Team Neon led by Kristen Anderson. Now this is a unique format and it's the only time this season we're gonna see it here, Adam. And I know you're just as excited as the fans to see the action unfold tonight. Man, Scott, I am really looking forward to seeing this team concept unfold. In Monster Jam, it's really an individual sport, but one of the biggest things is tonight, if you make a mistake, it's not just on you, it's on your whole team. So I'm excited to see how this all plays out. Speaking of the drivers, let's take a look at the team lineups. So Adam, taking a look, Team Nitro and Team Neon, a lot of heavy hitters here, yeah. 16 all-stars, so to speak, in the Superstar Challenge. Who has the team edge? I mean, I got to go with Team Nitro. Ryan Anderson has a history of winning here. Seven times he's won the event championship in Anaheim. And then on top of that, 21 World Finals Championship accrued on this team. I can't even believe how many heavy hitters are on this team tonight. Team Neon, though, Adam has some heavy hitters as well and some big-time players. I mean, you're talking about two of your reigning World Finals champions this year, Tristan England and Colt Stevens. They are definitely going to be some heavy hitters tonight. They're going to be going for it, but also some rookies. Chris Kohler and Jamie Sullivan. Jamie looked really good in practice, and Chris Kohler, I'll tell you what, he's lucky in this stadium. We talked about the team captains, and for either team to win, it's going to start at the top with those captains. So let's bring in the third member of our broadcast team, Leslie Mears, who is downstairs with the Team Neon and Nitro captains, Barry Musauer and Kristen Anderson. Leslie. Yeah, guys, this is a completely different format than our drivers are used to. Uh, competing in throughout the year. So, Bari, how is the mindset of your drivers different coming into a team event like this? It's all about consistency. You know, we have to earn those crucial points for our team as a whole. You're not competing just for yourself. So it's important that we look at it from that aspect and not really go out there and showboat for yourself because you don't want to come out too hot to where your truck's broken and you can't compete in the next event. Kristen, I know you were extensively preparing your team. How did you get everyone ready? I, I was sitting there yesterday in practice. I was watching everybody, and I wanted to be able to record all of their runs for them so that they could watch and kind of see, like, some mistakes that they made or something that they did great so they could tune and adjust a little bit for racing. We have so many great competitors on here. I'm, bl I'm so blessed and so honored to be coaching them this weekend. So I think it's going to be great. I'm excited to see what they got. 
Thank you, Leslie. The drivers will compete in three competitions, racing, best trick, and freestyle. Points will be awarded based on finish, with the winner receiving 16. And the team with the most points at the end of the night wins the Superstar Challenge, while the driver with the most points at the end of the event will be named the most valuable driver. Of course, has to have the most points on the winning team. It's time for track talk, and the over-under obstacle is back. This time, Adam, it's on a smaller floor in this baseball stadium, which makes this more about technical skill than speed. So how would you navigate the over-under on a smaller field like Angel Stadium? One of the things that they were struggling with in practice yesterday was going too far or too short on that double. And what's happening is the truck is getting a big hop and not settling into that corner. You have to do a lot of setup. So you're gonna see the drivers go out wide, cut in nice and tight and try to get a nice drive to that finish line. As far as freestyle goes, it's a tricky track. There's a lot of dirt. It's very, very tall out there. It's gonna be hard to see around obstacles. And there's a lot of landmines on the opposite sides of the jumps. First competition of the night is JCB Racing in round one. It's going to be Max D, Megalodon, Monster Mutt, Dalmatian, Avenger, Soldier Fortune, Monster Mutt, Bakugan, Dragonoid, Son of a Digger, Grave Digger, Tyler Menninger, Grave Digger, Adam Anderson, Lucas Stabilizer, Great Clips, Mohawk Warrior, Zombie versus Thunder Roarus, and Earthshaker up against El Toro Loco. Some great matchups designed by the team captains. Who do you like here in round one? I got to go with Tyler Meninga and Adam Anderson and both those Gravedigger trucks. That is your 2023 Red and Blue Series Stadium Champions going head-to-head -head in the first round. Let's head down to the track for the first JCB Racing matchup of the night. In the left lane, two-time World Finals champion representing Team Neon, Todd Duke and Megalodon. And in that right green lane, 14-time World Finals champion representing Team Nitro, Tom Mentz and Max D. We got our first green light of the night. It is Mintz versus LaDuke. And Tom LaDuke is on a great lane, but so is Tom Mintz over under. Max D under Tom LaDuke over. Across the race ramps here, Tom Mintz with the advantage. Now they're gonna switch it up. Megalodon, all kinds of trouble on the far side of the track. Todd LaDuke has a perfect apex, executes the win, getting it done once again. Matchup number two, it's gonna be Jim Kohler and Avenger rocking that purple Avenger body. He's in the purple lane representing Team Nitro and in the green lane representing Team Neon, the rookie, Jamie Sullivan in Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Here we go, second race of the night. Jim Kohler really high and overran off the race ramp, and he spins out on the corner. Jamie Sullivan has the lead. Jim Kohler making a big mistake in that first turn, comes up short on the double. This is Jamie Sullivan's race. And I know Kohler is not known as a racer, but this will be an upset win for Jamie Sullivan. She's got to hang on. She goes very wide, though. She went wide. Kohler goes over the pod. It is chaos here in Anaheim. Up next in the left lane, representing Team Neon, Chris Kohler and Monster Mud, the Monster Jam Co-Rookie of the Year. And in the right lane, representing Team Nitro, Kayla Blood and Soldier Fortune. All right, here we go, third race of the night. Chris Kohler off the line faster than Kayla Blood. And she's got issues on the far side of the track in the green lane. She is gonna impede the lane here if she can't get this thing refired. And it may be a buy run for Chris Kohler. Could be some kind of electrical issue. It didn't look like to me that Kayla Blood did anything that would cause the truck to break. So I'm gonna call that electrical issues. Hopefully they can get that figured out. That is a real bummer though for Chris. Well, he goes around her, so he had to go around her. They are gonna give him a time here, but that's gonna slow him down a little bit. Up next, we got Camden Murphy, Bakugan, Dragonoid in the right lane, in the left lane with Team Nitro, Ryan Anderson, son of a digger. Here we go, Ryan Anderson with a great start. Camden Murphy in the right lane, not getting it done, so Ryan Anderson hits the over-under first. Camden Murphy was practically sleeping on the line, then he grabs that pod. A lot of mistakes right now for Camden Murphy and Team Neon. Well, Leslie talked about the track being a little different, and Camden was dynamite in practice yesterday, and it's showing how different these conditions are. What a finish, Camden Murphy and Ryan Anderson. This is too close to call, Adam. Let's go to the Super Glue replay. Camden takes it tight, so does Ryan. They both accelerate. It looks like it's Camden Murphy. 
and then Murphy in the race of the night will move on. We are only halfway through round one, and we're just getting started here in Anaheim. We'll continue round one of JCB Racing next on Monster Jam. Monster Jam is brought to you by JCB, the official heavy equipment partner of Monster Jam. Welcome back to Angel Stadium as we continue on with the Superstar Challenge and round one of JCB Racing. Let's take a look at the bracket now. Halfway through round one, Megalodon, Monster Mutt, Dalmatian, Advance, Monster Mutt, Bakugan, Advance, Team Neon dominating so far. Up next, Tyler Menega, Grave Digger, representing Team Nitro. He goes up against Adam Anderson, a Grave Digger for Team Neon. The matchup I was looking for. Both drivers have a good first turn. Tyler lines up a little bit wide on that jump. This could be good. You got the two series champions on the stadium red and stadium blue. And here we go again. Adam Anderson hits the over under first. Tyler Mega going to try to finish strong. And he is going to get across the finish line. So Tyler Meninga. Gets it done, finally, for Team Nitro, finally. Next up on the track, representing Team Nitro, in the left lane, Bryce Kenny, Great Clips, Mohawk, Warrior. And in the right lane, it's going to be Lindsey Reed with Team Neon and Lucas, Stabilizer. Leslie, what do you have on Lindsey? You know, this is the first ever time for Lindsey Reed to drive this Lucas Stabilizer truck, and it's very different. She had a rough practice one day ago, but I asked her, how do you recover from that? And she said she got a pep talk from her daughter, Dakota. And she told her, not every day is your day, but today is. Shake off yesterday. Go have fun. You're going to do it. Thank you, Leslie. Beautiful words of advice. And Dakota could probably come out here and beat a few of these drivers <laughs> as well. She is quite the young racer. And Lindsay, as Leslie mentioned, making her debut here in Lucas Stabilizer. And she's giving Bryce Kenny everything she has right now. Looks like she got a bad bounce. And Bryce Kenny is going to finish strong. And we'll get our first Nitro versus Nitro matchup in round two. Next up in round one of the left lane, representing Team Neon, the World Finals freestyle champion, Gold Stevens and Thunder Roar is his opponent. In the right lane, representing Team Nitro, Corey Rumble making his debut in Zombie. Corey has a heavier truck, so it should hook up. Zombie Thunder Oris even at the halfway point here on the over under. And now coming across, Zombie got to make a nice turn. Brake checks a little bit, slows it down, gets around the lane. Corey Rumble has the advantage. Thunder Oris went way wide on that double. Corey stays tight. And to the finish line we go, and Coach Stevens looks like he took it. That's going to be close. Let's go to the replay. Colt Stevens comes in so tight in that last quarter, gets on the gas early, maybe over rotates the slide, but is giving that truck everything it's got. As we reach our final round one matchup in the left lane, Armando Castro with Team Nitro and El Toro Loco in the right lane with Earthshakers Team Neon's Tristan England. Battle two of the biggest arena stars in 2023. Here we go, final round one matchup. Armando off to a little bit better of a start, and he uses that same technique going to the right side of the jump, but it looks like he missed that turn. And one thing I'm seeing is it, it's very misleading with this final over-under because the left lane does have a shorter finish. And right now, Earthshaker has the lead, what it looks like in the right lane, and he's going to try to finish this off over the race ramp, and Earthshaker getting it done, Tristan England. Let's take a look at round two racing bracket. Megalodon, Monster Mutt, Dalmatian, Monster Mutt, Bakugan, Dragonoid, Grave Digger, Tyler, Menega, Great Clips, Mohawk, Warrior, and Thunder Roras, and Earthshaker. Now we continue on with the racing in round two up first. It's going to be Tyler Duke and Megalodon in the left lane. Jamie Sullivan in Monster Mutt, Dalmatian in the right lane. A battle of Team Neon. So here we go. Round two begins. Megalodon, Monster Mutt, Dalmatian as Team Neon is dominated round one. Tyler Duke with a great corner. And Jamie Sullivan going to have to pull up another upset here to get win. Todd LaDuke, a perfect bounce on that double. It's all going to be up to Jamie Sullivan on this double. Is she going to go long or short or perfect? Here we go to the final corner. Jamie Sullivan a little wobbly coming off the ramp. Todd LaDuke, an absolutely perfect final turn. And LaDuke is going to get the win. Megalodon moving on to the semifinals. As we continue on with round two, our next matchup in the left lane is going to be Chris Kohler and Monster Mutt representing Team Neon, and his opponent in the right lane, Camden Murphy and Bakugan Dragonoid, also 
representing Team Neon. Here we go, second race of round two. Chris Kohler into the corner. Camden Murphy hits the pod. And we're even at the over-under. A little off to the left for Chris. He has to make a really tight corner on that first double. You got to almost start turning the truck as you're in midair. Hit that rear steer and hit the corner when you hit the ground. Here we go, final turn. He hits the pot again. And he's got a push here to the finish line. And Chris Kohler gets the win. What is going on tonight in Anaheim? Let's continue on with round two. It's going to be Bryce Kenny, a Great Clips Mohawk Warrior in the right lane. He is representing Team Nitro. And he's going to go up against Tyler Meninga in the left lane in Grave Digger, who did have the fastest time in round one. And he is also on Team Nitro. This is the only Nitro matchup we have in this round. All right, here we go. Tyler Meninga, Bryce Kenny. One will be the lone Nitro representative in the semifinal round. Tyler Menega has not had a lot of success here in Anaheim. We'll talk about that a little bit later on. Now Bryce Kenny looking good so far. Back to the over-under we go. Bryce Kenny goes a little bit wide on the double. It's going to be this last corner. Tyler has a good run. Yeah, Bryce Kenny way deep. A lot of dirt roosting up. Tyler Menega 26.816. That's now the new fastest time of the night. Let's keep going here in round two. In the left lane, Colt Stevens, Thunder Roars. In the right lane, Tristan England, Earthshaker. Leslie, what do you got on Colt Stevens? He told me that it's going to be very technical off of those race lane ramps. He said once you get up, dump off the ramp and you bounce, you got to hit your rear steer. That's going to give you the edge in the corner. And that's where you guys need to keep your eyes peeled because that's usually where the winner's determined. Thank you, Leslie. So Colt having a little bit of issues there on the near side. On the corner, now to the final turn. Colt Stevens coming in, goes a little far, and Colt Stevens has the win. So Thunder Roris. Let's take a look at her semifinal bracket. Todd the Duke in Megalodon up against Chris Kohler and Monster Mutt, both with Team Neon. And on the other side, Tyler Menega and Grave Digger with Team Nitro up against Team Neon's Colt Stevens in Thunder Roris. We are down to the fastest four in the Superstar Challenge. Who will come out on top? Find out next on Monster Jam. We are back at Angel Stadium. It's a Superstar Challenge, and we've reached the semifinal round in JCB Racing. Our first semifinal matchup is going to be a battle between Team Neon's Chris Kohler and Monster Mutt in the left lane. Todd the Duke and Megalodon in the right lane. Chris Kohler got lane choice, and he wisely takes the left lane. Tom the Duke off the chalk line with a better start. He's going to need it. A much better start for Todd the Duke. Chris Kohler stays left on that jump. He needs to get this turn tight. He had to hit too much on the brakes. Todd the Duke has to take advantage of that mistake by Chris Kohler. And we're down to the final corner. We'll see if it's enough for the Duke to hang on. Kohler again with a break. It's going to come down to the wire. Another photo finish. I think Tom the Duke may have taken it. But let's take a look at the replay. Megalodon wide. Chris Kohler a little bit behind, but makes up some time. It looks like it's Todd. Tom the Duke getting the win. 28.273. Tyler Menega breaking out for Team Nitro. He will take the left lane in Grave Digger. He goes up against Thunder Roris. Cole Stevens representing Team Neon in our final semifinal race. We got a green light. Grave Digger, Thunder Roris, Menega versus Stevens. And Tyler's got to hit the brakes a little bit around the turning pod. But what Tyler did that I really like is he stayed inside. He was off the throttle and found some tacky dirt that nobody's been on yet. And Cole makes a nice turn off the racetrack, but he goes really wide to the right. And that is going to cost him. Cole Stevens spins out. And Tyler Menega, a clear shot to the finish line. And Menega will advance. Here we go, final matchup. Tyler Menega representing Team Nitro. Todd the Duke representing Team Neon. A battle of two heavyweights here. Tyler, a World Finals champion in the Great Clips Skills Challenge. Todd the Duke has won a Racing and Freestyles World Championship. We got two outside Ambers here in the left and right lane. We get the inside Ambers. That means red will go green. We got a green light. We got some pyro. And we got a racing final. Tyler Menega, Todd the Duke. Manigo with the early advantage in the left lane. Tyler stays nice and tight to that pod, uses that traction, stays wide on the double, and gets another tight turn. Look at the corner from Tom the Duke, though. What a perfect on a dime. Manigo's got one here, though. He's moving. And Tyler Manigo 
looks like Medigal won, but man, another close. <laughs> We're gonna go back to the replay again. Okay, here he comes. Look at how hard Tyler pushes that truck into the last corner. He had some ground to make up, and Tyler comes away with the win for Team Nitro. Tyler Menega getting the win, getting it done at these on the track with Leslie Mears. Leslie. Tyler, I noticed there was a lot of strategy to your driving out there, how you were dirt tracking it down the hill. How did you figure out that was going to work for you? Honestly, uh, practice, I made one pass. I did not feel good. I rolled over my other pass, and I did not have the track figured out. Uh, I didn't really watch any videos. I watched a couple, but not very many. I just kind of wrote it off as this not going to be a good night for racing for me. I wasn't going to be able to run this track. So I honestly, when I started that race against Adam, and it worked out in that in the over under jump when it landed it kind of just drifted right into there i felt so good i was like man i feel like i could race anybody right now uh and then there was a couple upsets in the bracket i, I kind of just quit paying attention to the bracket honestly so just kind of stayed in my in my head and stayed in my zone and here we are thank you leslie a lot of elements there for tyler menega to get the win so he gets 16 points Let's take a look at our team scores after racing. Neon absolutely eviscerating Team Nitro, 84 to 52. Team Neon has the lead after one. Can they hang on? Find out next when Monster Jam returns. Monster Jam is brought to you by Great Clips, the official hair salon of Monster Jam. Download the Great Clips app and check in online today. Welcome back to round one of the 2024 Monster Jam season as we continue with the Superstar Challenge in Anaheim. And up next is the best trick competition. Let's take a look at our competing drivers representing Team Neon. It's going to be Adam Anderson, Tristan England, and Camden Murphy representing Team Nitro. It's going to be Ryan Anderson, Tom Mentz, and Tyler Meninga. Our first competitor in the best trick competition representing Team Nitro, Ryan Anderson and Son of a Digger. He told me he was going to go for a back to back flip here. Here he goes. Ryan Anderson goes up. He got one. He's got to go again right away, and he's just not going to do it. He's got to try to turn this thing around. It was ambitious. He could not get the truck to angle right to the ramp. So fans with a 7.633, judges 6.083 for a total of 6.858. Up next, representing Team Neon, this is Camden Murphy in Bakugan Dragonoid. Camden Murphy picking up speed, hits the container. He goes up. Here's a corkscrew. Not enough push on the back two wheels, and he's going to end up on the hood. 4041, 4750, and 4395. Up next, Tom Mentz, Max D, representing Team and Nitro. He's going to try to get those rear wheels on top of the backflip container, and then he's going to hit the throttle, set it into a nose wheelie, and then balance the truck, put it in a moonwalk, and then try to get that rear of the truck to kind of fall, hit the throttle, and do a backflip. Judging by the crowd, he has already taken the lead here in this competition. <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> this could be some much needed points for Team Nitro if he pulls this off. He's going to slide it now. A little slow back to the backflip ramp. He's got to hit the throttle. He goes up. And again, too short. Scores in from the fans, 8.261. The judges, 7.583 for a total of 7.922. Tom Mentz has taken the lead. Up next, out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, representing Team Neon, Adam Anderson in Gravedigger 35. At this length, if he hits this thing full speed, he is going to fly. <laughs> Maybe into the grass. Oh, yeah. He's Here going. we go. Adam Anderson sends it up. Beautiful. And he lands it. <laughs> yes. Gets the pogo bounce. That's the first successful attempt we've seen tonight. 9.223 from the fans, 8.917 from the judges, 9.070. And Tyler Menega, Grave Digger Team Nitro up next after his big JCB racing win. And we've seen Tom Menz and Adam Anderson both attempt this. And Tyler's going up into a nose wheelie. So this may be the moonwalk to backflip. And he's going to hold it there. Stoppy position now edging it back out into a nose wheelie. And here we go into reverse, Tyler Menega. He could keep it up there for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going for the oh, team. Oh, no! That, oh, no! That, that could take the lead from Adam Anderson. Now we're talking, man! I have never in my career seen that move done anywhere. Tyler Menega full flex in Anaheim. <laughs> Holy moly, take a look at the super glue replay. Tyler 
comes in, gets off that nose wheelie. Look at the rear tire of Tyler's truck. Grab that thing perfectly. Two wheel skills to corkscrew. Best trick, superstar challenge. Let's go. Our final competitor, Tristan England with Team Neon. Tristan has a truck where he wants it, gets it right back up on the container. He's gonna pop it up, he saves it. And now he's gonna go a little sideways if he can save this thing, but he is stuck. Man, if he could have pulled off a double save, that could have done it. Score for Tristan England from the fans, 4.576. From the judges, 7.167, 5.872 is the total. Tyler Medica picks up his second win of the night. And let's rejoin Leslie Mears with our best trick winner. Probably one of the most spectacular things I've ever seen, but I almost feel like it doesn't count because we saw your eyes closed on the replay there. Really? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, it was not straight. It was not going the way I needed to go. So when I got up there and seen where I was in angles, I was like, man, it would be pretty lame to just set it down. So you know what? I'm going to take a chance. And I did it. And you know what? It wasn't perfect, but it was the first ever one done. Nobody can take that away from me. And it got the win for Team Nitro. Thank you, Leslie. Uh, he gets another win, 16 more points for him. He leads all drivers tonight with 32 points. Let's take a look at our team standings after two competitions. Team Neon, 122. Team Nitro, 95. So a 27-point lead for Team Neon going into freestyle. So after two, Team Neon dominating. Team Nitro starting to even the field a little bit. Who is going to win? Find out when we kick off freestyle next on Monster Jam. Monster Jam is brought to you by Spinmaster. Monster trucks, monster stunts, Monster Jam. You're watching round one of the 2024 Monster Jam season at Angel Stadium. We are back with the Superstar Challenge. Our final competition here is freestyle. And we take a look at the order. Adam, it's going to be Chris Kohler and Monster Mutt kicking off the competition. And it'll be closed out by a pair of Andersons. Adam and Ryan Tyler Menega will go fourth. Tonight, it's been unexpected, and you just never know what's going to happen. Let's go back down to the track. Our first competitor out of Columbus, Michigan, the Monster Jam Co-Rookie of the Year, representing Team Neon. It's Chris Kohler in Monster Mud. Interesting first combination of events. Goes to the far side, jumps over that eight-pack ramp, comes all the way around. A little cross red action on that big container FMX ramp, but now over the crushed cars and back again. Takes that race ramp off to the left. You mentioned earlier that there may not be a lot of cross running here, but Chris is finding little ways here, little nuances to hit the track at different angles already. Yeah, I don't think Chris has hit a jump straight so far. Chris has some really good momentum. Look at the way he flings that truck around this slick Anaheim tacky dirt. A lot of magic for Chris in Southern California. Freestyle champion as well at SoFi Stadium in Englewood. The home of World Finals 23. And I say, I say slick. Oh, oh man, right big air. That container. He greases the back left wheel. Hey, little step on, step off. And action. he lands it, man. This kid has had some shining moments. After his rookie year, now coming in strong. Second season goes up for the back lip ramp. And he's going to land this one right on the side. Chris Kohler <laughs> is putting on a show here to kick off this freestyle run. Man, what a way to start the night for Chris Kohler. Let's take a look at the super glue. Glue to the action replay. Check out the backflip. Got a little bit of a corkscrew, but great rotation, great speed into the ramp, and then just stomps on the throttle coming out. Up next out of Christmas, Florida, Jamie Sullivan and Monster Mutt Dalmatian. And tonight, something very special. It's gonna be her first backflip attempt. Do you have some more information on that, Leslie? I do, and there she goes. She hit that eight pack, perfect. One of the things that helped her with that, she got to practice with Tristan England <laughs> in her ears yesterday. She said she was gonna double it up, and oh, there she goes. she's going again. Man. <laughs> Jamie Sullivan, way to make a statement. Two backflips in a row. Ryan Anderson, ho oh, ho! Into a family. oh my God! Adam, I had her on Inside Monster Jam. She told me how excited she was to be here and be among the sport's best. She said she wasn't going to buckle under the pressure. She wasn't going to take the opportunity lightly. She's turning it on right now 
and almost had a save there at the end and ends up on the side of Monster Mutt Dalmatian. Take a look at the super glue glue to the action replay. This is the first backflip attempt ever in competition for Jamie. She executes perfectly, throws it into reverse. Here she comes into backflip attempt number two. She lines it up perfect. Jamie Sullivan is the real deal. Out of Oskaloosa, Iowa, Tyler Menega and Gravedigger representing Team Nitro. Tyler Menega really elevated his game in 2023, and I think it's only going to go up in 2024 as well. The precision on that first jump just says so much about Tyler. He landed just a tad bit short so he could bounce over that landmine on the opposite side. Nice way to start out this run. And Tyler's truck clocked a little bit to the left. And it looks like on that jump, he's going to land it back fine. Nice air from Tyler Menega. And that's one of those things that you just look at and you can see in some of these top drivers. They're so aware of how the truck is landing. You can see again right there, Tyler lands that truck on all four tires. And what that does is take the weight off just one side of the truck or the other. These trucks break all the time because they're so big and so fast. Tyler knows how to maintain his truck and go big. And here comes Tyler Menega. He knows how to get some big moments. Nice break check in midair. Now coming back across to this side, going up the FMX ramp. Nice air again, floats the truck, reaches the back two wheels down that green ramp. Less than a minute to go here. Tyler Menega going for a container backflip. He comes in a little slow, accelerates, hits it, lands it right into a moonwalk. That's the wild moment you want to see. Tyler looking to sweep the night here in Anaheim, California. It's a little cross-threading right there. Tyler just being cool, calm, and collected, doing what great diggers do. Huge air right there. Absolute awareness, though, as he goes over again. Another save oh my for gosh. Tyler Menega. <laughs> this kid can do it all. And he's got a little bit of time here. Can he go for another backflip? I don't know, he's going to the ramp. He's going again. Oh, oh. This time he straightens it up, and he's got another save. Oh, my God. Tyler oh, my God. Oh, my oh, goodness. Oh, there's the transmission. Transmission just went out in that truck. Oh, just now. Huh? Three backflips <laughs> later, whatever it was. And that's what it took for the transmission to go. Man. Wow, <laughs> what a run from Tyler Menega. Take a look at the super glue replay. You can see it looks like maybe the rear left tire gets pinched in the side of that backflip container, but somehow Tyler pulls off a miracle, pulls the truck out, and then pulls it off and blows a transmission. Scores for Tyler Menega, 9.585 from the fans, 8.667 from the judges. 9.131 in total. That is more than enough to give Tyler Menega the lead after four trucks. It's Tyler Menega with the lead he put on an absolute show. But can he hang on and win it all? Find out as freestyle continues next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to round one of Monster Jam in Anaheim. Earlier today, the biggest stars in the sport were on hand at Angel Stadium to meet thousands of fans at the pit party. And if you want to meet the stars and see the trucks, be sure to attend the pit party at your next Monster Jam event. Moments go freestyle continued. Armando Castro and El Toro Loco, he could not get momentum on his side. Lindsey Reed and Lucas Stabilizer with an incredible double cartwheel, didn't put her at the top of the leaderboard. Kayla Blood, Soldier Fortune, the truck issues plagued her run. And Cold Steve's the Thunder Roars could not defend his freestyle championship. And Great Clips Mohawk warrior Bryce Kenny continued the freestyle frustrations from World Finals. Our next competitor out of Columbus, Michigan, representing Team Screen, the two-time World Finals freestyle champion. It's Jim Kohler in Avenger for Team Nitro. Jim's had a lot of big moments in his career in this stadium. He's got that brand new Nitro Avenger body. Yeah, he loves that everything is so big out here, but he told me he's really got to be smart about it. He said there are big jumps with landing of ultimate destruction that will send you into another jump that's a steel plate, and he wants all of it. Thank you, Leslie. Ultimate destruction. Nice air truck up at about an 85 degree angle. Threads the needle, lands it in, now going towards the center side of the track. 
And now Jim gonna attack right off to the left, cross threading off to the left of the green side ramp. Jim has some really good speed right now. I like that a lot. He's got good throttle rhythm as well. He's kind of keeping that truck. Oh, oh, oh. But he, and he's got another great save. We've seen a lot of good ones tonight. Oh, it looks like that left front axle might be broke. It's not pulling. Yep. Looks like both of yep. them might both be Both front axles might be broke. He's still going. You can, you can drive this truck into the ground. As long as those rear tires are pushing, just keep going, Jim. Is he going to go for a back here with <laughs> uh, Listen, Jim knows what it takes to win here. He led team fire and points back in 2019 oh! to the All-Star Challenge. Oh! Oh! Right over the top of the container, and he wheels it into a somersault. Ha -ha! I feel like we're at the 2023 Olympics. Double, <laughs> some, double cartwheels, somersaults. Mr. Excitement, he is here in Anaheim. Man, oh, oh, man, and again, throwing caution to the wind. Ultimate destruction for Jim Kohler. Another unbelievable run by one of the biggest stars in Monster Jam's history. Take a look at the Super Glue replay. You see, he just doesn't quite have enough power to clear that backflip container. Tire taps the top, step on, step off, front flip into a slap wheelie. Jim Kohler making it happen here in Anaheim. Up next on the track out of Peoria, Arizona, two-time world finals champion, Todd LaDuke in Megalodon, riding for Team Neon. Todd had a great start to the night, finishing second in the racing bracket with some big wins. Oh, and he's oh, on his lead. Right away with a save. What are we gonna call that one? A stunt <laughs> roll. A shark roll, let's do that. The sushi roll. <laughs> the sushi better. roll. The sushi roll. He recovered from the sushi roll, going right up the center ramp. Some big air. I wonder if we're gonna see a LeDuc leap somewhere in this run. And over and again, down. Ooh, nice Just job. about cleared the obstacle. Really nice job by Todd Badoo, not hitting those landmines right behind that. Just good precision, good speed. And again, jumping over that green side ramp in the center of the track, winds up in center field, goes past the container, and now on the purple step up, down over the side, keeping his momentum, keeping that throttle rhythm, pushing Megalodon. I know Vision and Megalodon also a lot different than what Todd has been used to in the past. You're coming out of Blue Thunder into Megalodon a lot different when it comes to your sight points and your vision. I do know that affected him a lot, talking to him throughout the season, but he's had a year under his belt to figure it out, and he goes with a little bicycle action, and the shark mouth coming off. No vision problems now, Scott. Not at all. If you got vision problems, shed the front clip, and he goes over again, and he's so a look at the super glue replay you know he hits that center double gets a bad bounce gets it on the side has to slow down because jamie sullivan's monster mutt and cannot save the truck up next out of paris texas riding for team neon tristan england in earth shaker the current world finals racing champion and he will compete on stadium championship series east for the remainder of this season one of the things I'm looking at, Scott, as a driver and an athlete, is just the front of that truck. We have no hood on the front of that truck, and the vision he has is unbelievable right now. One of the hardest things in Monster Jam. Nice save by Tristan. Just buried it right into the edge of that FMX ramp, was able to pick it up on a bicycle and save it. Now trying to thread the needle here, just clips the front left wheel. Gonna flip it around for a backflip. Nice hard turning point, gets the truck at an absolute perfect angle. He's got a straight lane on the container, skies it off a little bit to the left, lands awkward on the front right. I oh, think he may have oh, broken it. He's trying to flip it, yes! and he does! The teeter-totter! I was hoping we'd see that. He wowed fans all over the world with oh. the teeter-totter, and he just pulled it off. It sounds like the transmission might have went out. Something's going on. I heard that thing whining. Man, he just shredded that truck and blew out the transmission. But what a save that was. 
We have seen so many great saves tonight. That is right up there with the best of the best. Take a look at the replay. He's coming into that backflip container. He's going to hit it, go a little bit left like it's been pitching all the drivers. Under rotates just a little bit. Gets it on the back, holds it wide open in reverse, and gets the thing to sit. What a night it has been so far. Save after save after save, and we are not done yet. Will it be a Hollywood ending for Team Neon? Find out next on Monster Jam. Welcome back to Angel Stadium in Anaheim as we kick off the 2024 Monster Jam season with the Superstar Challenge. During the break, Camden Murphy, Baku got Dragon went, attempted a run, couldn't get anything going. His score was 6.496. Tom Mance, Max D, and his farewell at Angel Stadium. Had some unfortunate issues. He finished with a 7.051. And Adam Anderson did not get a score as he would break with 96 seconds left in his run. And up next, it is going to be Corey Rummel and Zombie representing Team Nitro. And you can hear that motor in that truck just pushing, pushing, pushing. But now Corey a part of Zombie Nation. And he gets a big time floater jump completely eclipses that ramp on the downside. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the, the advantages and disadvantages to having a heavier truck that Corey has. One of the advantages is that it's heavier, so it's going to stick to the ground a little bit better, and it's going to be a little bit more durable. Team Scream really built that thing to just stay together the entire season long. Now, the downside to having a heavier truck is that you just don't get that acceleration out of the corners and for the jumps that you need. So if you turn the truck really sharp and try to hit the throttle, you're not going to get that right out of the corner speed. Corey Rumble trying to get his groove here, find his way around the track. He's hit every side so far, just left the middle. Now comes over to the FMX ramp on the downside. Diagonal here out of the center pod, goes up. He's going to try to clear it, and he just misses clearing it. Just greases that left wheel. Now bicycles his way around the eight pack. Comes in again, nice jump there. Goes to the side, starts turning the wheel. He's going to go over here, and he cannot save it. The score is coming in for Corey Rummel, 7.831 from the fans. 6.750 from the judges. That's a total of 7.290. Up next, four-time World Finals champion Ryan Anderson, son of a digger with Team Nitro. He's our final competitor. Ryan Anderson now, clock is running. He's trying to take this home for Team Nitro. If he wins, freestyle, and he leads Team Nitro to the win, Tyler Menega surely would be named the most valuable driver with the most points. Team Neon watching and waiting as well. Yeah, Huge yeah. air for Ryan Anderson. He's won a lot of freestyles in this building. And he won freestyle at the All-Star Challenge back in 2019. He's the best closer in Monster Jam. The stage is set for that big time Hollywood ending for Ryan Anderson. Can he deliver it though, Adam, to Team Nitro? I mean, look at this guy right now. His throttle rhythm's on point. Every single jump he's hit. Oh, the truck stalled. Oh, the pyro is going off. Ryan Anderson is done. The score for Ryan, 7.516, 6.083. That's a total of 6.800. That means Tyler Menega is going to sweep the night, winning all three competitions. Second player final freestyle top five. Tyler Menega, as I mentioned, is going to win it. Jim Kohler in second. Tristan England in third. Tom the Duke in fourth. And how about Jamie Sullivan? Monster Mutt Dalmatian. She gets that top five fifth place finish. Let's take a look at our final team point standings. And there you have it, Team Neon pulling possibly the upset. They are going to get the win. They are going to win the Superstar Challenge 189 to 163. So Team Neon pulls it off, and they are celebrating at the desk right now. Leslie's with our winning team. Leslie, how hyped up is Team Neon right now? Oh my gosh, it is crazy down here. You can see that they already celebrated with some water everywhere. That's why they're all soaked down here. Kristen, what a job that you did. All the hard work that you put into the bracket and setting everything up worked out perfectly. Thank you, Leslie. I mean, I feel like all day today, people have been doubting Team Neon, but I never did. I never doubted my team one time. I knew that I hand selected the best of the best drivers out here and they proved them wrong. Bye-bye, Nitro. Now, Tristan, for you, it has been an amazing year. So 
not only do you add a racing championship, but now the most valuable driver helping your team get this victory. And it's emotional. It really is. I, I just can't. There's not many words I can put into it, but the team that we had right here, it means everything to me. All these guys right here, these guys and girls are the best of the best of Monster Jam, and we got it done together. We are just getting started with the 2024 season as we kick off the Road to World Bottles 23 at SoFi Stadium. We are so excited to have you along for another full throttle ride. For Adam Entignap and Leslie Mears, I'm Scott Jordan. Good night from Anaheim, but we'll see you right here next time on Monster Jam.